Hello, Miss Nut, and I'm playing Tales of Monkey Island. Yep. And I guess I've already got the ship. Let's go pay our good doctor a visit. Well, he claims to be a doctor. The doctor is busy. Okay. Mmm, flowers. That's not even a mighty part like Guybrush can. Uh, I better pick this yeah, up before someone notices. Appreciate um, flowers. Trips over it. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Um, both. Right. Serious face Guybrush. Unicorns! Get I your hand-blown glass, unicorns! Nah, I don't need to talk to him yet. I haven't got a, a thing yet. Okay, treasure. A treasure is what I need. Hi! Ah! Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, Treasure Hunter Extraordinary. Okay. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. Okay then. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate pear flavored breakfast cereal. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. Oh, well, that's um exciting, right? How many PP Pirates do you have left? The only power pirate I have not found is the ultra-rare, impossible to find, the dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Of course. Scammed? Jace, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a ninja Dave map, but he hmm. just keeps sending me in circles. Sounds familiar. Um, Herman Tufron? Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? Oh, it's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Yeah. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Everyone hates that bed wetter. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. No. Look! It's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action! Well... Okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, it must have been a leaf. Yeah. Hey, a leaf that looks just like a figure. Of some kind. So then. Hmm. Shortcut. Convenient. Oh yeah, right. Of course. Right. Arr. 
Pierre, Pink Pajama Pierre. You foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Kind of cool since it's watching. Is this the end of Pink Pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Good thing it's instant drawing too. Right. Now to bake some membership. Card? Card? Oh yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Oh, that makes funny right. sense. Silly of him. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. The nachos! I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Ow. Get him! I bet those things will never come up again. What a fight! That was spectacular, Driftwood! Best pirate brew haha I've seen in months! I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. He feed me these Barfo pirate stories, Driftwood. I'll be handing over the secret to Deep Cut before you know it. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot. Uh, that was also one of the stories. Hey. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my gragatini. I hate those things. I thought you wanted those things. Wait, that doesn't work. Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. You know, you really should have removed the old... Unless, of course, the olive comes with it. I mean, it comes with the olive. Ugh. Right then. Guybrush is, of course, now proving that he is an expert at forging things. That jungle sure is noisy. Right, so put it in a well. Well, put it over a well. To follow some monitors. Gotcha. Take that. Now hold it. Um. Objection. Eureka. Um. Eureka. And anything else he had. I could pollute the flotsam water supply. And not in a good and or funny way. Alright, alright. One thing. Right then. Noise is the follow. Hog, monkey, bee... Yeah, I don't that. This looks promising. So far, so good. Okay, now what? That jungle sure is noisy. Monkey, hog, bee. Okay, 
Okay, so B button. Okay. It's the other way. Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthily for famed out of shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. Your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. That's not very good at this. Here, follow me. Yeah, follow a pro. He's been following yeah, a and cryptic map from X since the 90s. Marks this spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same spade. Oh, Dios. Dark Ninja Dave! With Killer Karate Katana! <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave! Dark Ninja Dave! That old dance. The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine! All mine! Ow! I got dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now, why don't you take a walk with me um... back to the keel hall? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Indeed it well, is. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. Thanks to you, I've got enough sorted swashbuckling stories to keep a flotsam keel haul of Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, uh, great. Now, about Deep Gun. My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gun file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nippikin. Well, I get the feeling this is pulling voices. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gun. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this deep young person how to get off this island and back to LA. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Yeah. Also, we all know that guy is the only worker at the, that newspaper. Okay then, basically let's go left, and walk north a bunch of times. Come on. Around it, because you can't walk over that apparently. And here we have Deep Gut. Gee, I wonder who Deep Gut could be. What's the word? Deadline. Welcome, Guybrush. The Voodoo Lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions. There'll be time enough for questions, questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed Cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lachuk has been destroyed, the Cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony. Of to course. ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. 
I tried to destroy LeChuck with the Cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions, and there were no, some can't blame you, complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it. Hell's bells, he's pissed. I think it's a trick. A human LeChuck? This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Um, wouldn't a human the Chuck mean, he, mean well, he's got all the human, uh, all the vulnerabilities of a human? Which, to be honest, is a lot easier to face off against than, say, an evil voodoo thing with many powers that sort of come and go. I mean, one time he could shapeshift between his forms. I mean, what was up with that? Um. Have you got anything for my hand? I think I may have picked up a rash somewhere. Fascinating. And itchy. Can you fix it? No. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. Yeah. Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. Okay. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechuk, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. Okay. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. Of course. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him. And tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. Yeah, I'm sure this that personal heirloom work at all calls me wrong ideas. The must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger. Or dead. Or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. I thought it was Treepwood. Oh, I can. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. It's like beyond your control? Well then. Yeah, I think I'm done. Right, first. I know you've been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Guybra Streepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. So hasn't Guybrush well, been giving it been out to everyone he's I've been talking to? I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Hey, hand lotion. International House of Mojo brand hand lotion. Good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. Rats. Of course. So, yeah, anyway, this will be enough for today. Till next time. Goodbye.